and see if you look at Vygotsky, yes. see, <laughs> I, right? I mean, see, at the time he dies, he dies of tuberculosis at age 37, a month before his trial for politically incorrect thinking. Mm. His works are already being banned in his lifetime. Right? He, they say, he was very depressed. You know, and it's like that's not just the health problem. There are so many dramatic elements. Yeah, to his story. Um, but he, he, so he, 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 even on his deathbed, he's finishing the last. Yeah, chapter. I mean, I, I really think, I think, in the hands of the right, really talented people, I, I think there's a movie to be made about this guy's life. I think mm -hmm. he was trying to, from what I understand, he was trying to take, trying to pick up where Wilhelm left off as far as uh, you know, carrying the football a little further down the field, solving some problems that were heretofore unsolvable. Very dramatic. You know, you could almost imagine a uh, film star as mm -hmm. he's working on, on trying to solve some of these issues all the way through to the end. Never mind yeah. the political persecution, never mind yeah. the fact that he lucked out, you know, getting into college as opposed to you know, a much grimmer fate. Mm -hmm. uh, Fact that you know this was his sort of dying contribution, and then it would be a really great movie. Yes, yes, even, it's for, a, even for regular people, you know, even for like the public yeah. at large. Mm -hmm. And and I was just going to say that for for young people who are starting to think about careers, for students who are you know, uh, it doesn't matter, grade school, high school college and young professionals say Vygotsky is a good role model and you know that you know that I don't know I mean it's, it's just a story of resilience Hybrid resilience yeah